guys, we are back. It is day 10 since I germinated my pepper seeds. Um, these are the, what I consider mid-hots. Well, I mean, there's ghosts in there, but there's uh, Fatali and uh, different bonnets. And uh, there is my daughter's lemon spice jalapeno, the new mix. Um, but as you can see, germination rates are going really good. The only... Uh, all six, all these cells, so there, there's six in each one. So each one of these six cell trays, the only one that didn't pop is back there. And that is the Papa Dreddies. I don't know why they didn't. They were um, from an isolated seed source, but a lot of people don't order those. So it's very much possible that those seeds, um, that they got old. So let me see here. And then the Super Hot, um, doing decent. Uh, you know, some of them take 14 days. I mean, it's just the way it is. We're on day number 10 right now, but they're doing uh, okay. The Primatales, I only got one that popped. Chocolate, or, um, Caramel Primatales, none. The DM Bootla, none. And the BOC, none. So that's the only, that's these middle trays right here. Uh, you see it's kind of bare. They haven't popped yet. They do have a heat mat. Um, I did take the heat mat off of this other tray right here because mostly everything popped and I didn't want to take the chance of burning them up just just in case the thermometer fell out but today this this what we're talking about is how close to have your how are you close do you want to have your lights to your um your seedlings and this is it's so hard to see this but I have four double strips so it's eight actual LEDs all together um about three inches Two and a half to three, yeah, about a good three inches. Well, they're about three and a half inches from this, the the uh, tray, but then the seedlings, you know, it's about three inches. And uh, I'll let them grow up. I won't have to move anything. And you just see, it's just they're on boxes. So that's all I do is jack these things up. And these are under my cabinets. And I do have a grow closet, and I have shelves in there, and I can adjust the shelves um, and the heights and all that when I need to. But I always like to germinate here. And the reason why is because of the heat. Now I'm in the kitchen, the heat from the stove, the heat from everything, plus these lights throw off a little bit of heat and also the seed mats. So everything gets really good heat here. And I am just inches away. What does that do? That makes sure that my seedlings don't get leggy. That's right, when they come up, they got that nice bright light right on them. These lights are, by the way, uh, 6,500 Kelvin and 5,000 Lumen. You can order these off Amazon. They are dirt cheap. In the grow closet, I have two foot lights instead. And I have rows of six or some of them. I think one of them, there's five because Mrs. Bullcow stole one from me. Um, and I'll show you guys that as I get these moved over to there, which will be you know, in a couple weeks probably. Um, but how far should you have your lights from your seedlings? Two to four inches if you want them to be strong and and bushy, you don't want them to be leggy. You don't want to have to try to fix legginess. And even these I got, you see some of them are dipped down in. Um, when I transplant them, I'll actually uh, go up higher on the stalk. And those things will, they'll, so they, they'll be even less leggy than they are. And they're not leggy. They're doing really good. So... Yeah, and I did not ger over germinate like too much. I mean, you guys can watch the video. A lot of these cells, I just put one seed in. A few of them I put two or an extra one dropped. You can see. But uh, yeah, so everything's doing real good. Um, 6,500 Kelvin, 5,000 Lumen is the um, just perfect. You don't want to go any higher. You don't need to go any higher. The ones in the closet are, I think, 3,000 Lumen, 6,500 Kelvin. Um, and so those ones are a little, a little bit less harsh on the plant, not much, but, um, that's what I do is once these get really strong enough, I go over to the closet with them. So that's how your light should be 6,500 Kelvin, 5,000 lumen. Um, you want at least 3,000 lumen if you can't find the 5,000, but these lights are cheap. They're on Amazon. You can put them up. See, they're just just hang them up there there's a little little screws and racks um you can see the bracket right there yeah, you see the bracket holding them in and then there's a piece of fishing line there i think there's one there there is that fishing line is just in case because if you if you put your hand back there and kind of 
you know, or to move your arm up quickly for some reason, you're trying to grab something. Um, sometimes you can knock them out of the brackets. Um, I haven't done it before, but just to make sure I threw a little fishing line there just for backup, because then if I do it and it falls out of the bracket, it won't fall on the plants. I'll just have to stick it back up into there. But yeah, I, I did this setup last year. If you guys, any of you that watched, seen, it came out awesome. It worked great. Uh, you guys see everything is doing really good there. Um, yeah, and this is so simple. You don't have to have to have racks of being, we have a small condo and we don't have room to put a big old rack in here, you know, and then I do have one seed mat going. Um, I'm keeping this on 88 degrees. Um, I had it cranked up to 93 before, and then you stick the probe all the way down. And that means the top and middle of the soil is usually about, it's usually about three to four degrees lower. So going with 93, I was figuring I was getting 88, 89, um, but I did turn it down a little bit. <clears throat> and I took the one seed mat out yesterday. It st started to seem like it wasn't working. And, um, and it was, I just, something, I think I unplugged it on accident or shut the switch off or something. And so I just said, you know what, I'm done with it. I don't need it. Like I said, I only have one, one tray of cells that did not pop. And that's the one back there in the middle. You guys see it. It's completely empty. Yep. Well, that's the Papa Dreddy Scotch Bonnet. Um, and I do want to grow them. So, but I gave seeds to one of my partners. So, you know, uh, hopefully he has better luck. I did have two sets of seeds of those just in case I actually had some isolated and I thought there's a possibility they might be old because a lot of people don't they don't grow it anymore and it's just one of the best peppers there is in the world um so I did actually uh, put isolated but you know what I just did a little while ago I popped some of the non-isolated seeds that I had from a pepper last year just to have backup pop those in there so um it'll take another 10 days probably before they pop but or maybe the old ones will just pop. If they're old, sometimes they just take longer. I don't do the black tea method. If, and if, if I got seeds and I know for a fact that they're old, um, then I will do black tea. But, yeah. So this is just a quick, quick video on how far away should your lights be from your seedlings. I know the Super Hots is looking pretty bare, guys. But it's not. It's not. I'm not growing um, too many of these. But these here, these will pop. These middle rows will pop. They're just, they are just stubborn for some reason. And it seems like that. Though these are really hot. Like the, the caramel primatelli, primatelli one did pop, but no, not the rest. And then the, the DM chocolate bula. Um, you'll see sometimes those. Just like last year, my Cali Reapers. Oh, they took three weeks to pop. Three weeks. And I had actually took them off the seed mat, and. All of a sudden, bam, there they were, out of nowhere. So you're going to get finicky peppers like that, especially the super hots. But as far as the other, you know, the lower end of the super hots and the mid hots, man, Bohemian Goats, KSLS, I mean, the Lemon Ghostly Jalapeno, Lemon Spice, they, all of them are doing good except those Papadretti's. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be back again soon. Yeah.